college slash university versus going to the military versus you know you know once a you know once a young adult is done with you know with high school. So I don't know what you're asking. Like when you stated that in mm -hmm. your posing of questions that you might ask. Are you are you asking me if I think one is better than the other? Are you asking me if I think? I mean, I mean, I don't like. No, no, not if, if one is better than the other. Just um, um, what is your opinion on that? That's all. It's just an opinion, you know, based from one person. That's all. So, well, there, so there's no right or wrong answer. I think I, you sound like me in class right now. Um, <laughs> so. Again, going back to the juvenile detention center when I taught there, it was interesting to me that a lot of these kids felt like the military was going to be their catch-all. That, oh, it doesn't matter, I don't have to graduate from high school, I'm just going to go into the military. And then I started talking to recruiters as well mm -hmm. as the JROTC guy at one of the um, schools in the county. And all of them basically said, no, a high school diploma is a must. It's actually pretty competitive to get into the military now, when you think right. about it. Um, so these kids who have this idea that I guess, I don't know where it's blossomed from because they're not the only ones to have told me this. Um, I think that as, as an educational system, we are failing our kids by telling them the only thing that they can do that is of any, value is to go to college. I think that that is super ridiculous. I think that there are a lot of kids who would not get anything out of college. They are going to thrive in an environment where they learn how to do something with their hands, whether it be right. auto mechanics, whether it be welding, whether it be working HVAC. Um, I, I, I a lot of these kids seem to think that the only way that they're going to succeed in life is to get a college degree and it's well, really just hard. not true because i mean there, there's so many good paying jobs um yep. in like other fields and in, in, in like in the trade fields and such as electricians and linemen and carpenters and, and, and things of the sort so and i mean like you know these people make you know very comfortable livings and you know they're out there and working with their hands and they are tens of thousands of dollars in debt <laughs> after exactly. coming out of a four-year uh, you know, college experience. Exactly. I am, I am paying off student loans right now, and they have um, basically put them on hold during the pandemic, and it has been absolutely wonderful how much money I have been able to save. Granted, you know, I'm not paying my student loan right this minute, but, you know, it's wonderful it, and I'm seeing like, oh my gosh, this would be fabulous if I didn't have to pay this off. Now, for me personally, I I wanted to go get my master's and do what I did. Um, yeah. I do truly think that we are pushing a lot of kids into things that they don't necessarily want to do and will not fulfill them. Um, that being said, when you talk about the military, I come from a military family. And so I personally, um, respect our military. I think that if somebody wants to go in and serve our country, I think that that is fantastic. I think it really does um, take a special person to do it. You have to have a wonderful work ethic um, and, and they do really help you learn vocations and, and things like that. Um, so, I, I mean, it really depends on the kiddo. That's what I'm saying. Like there are kids, right. university is great for them and they're super academic and that's going to be where they go. They're going to, they want to go work for NASA or, you know, I'm listing off things that my kids told me that, you know, this week that they wanted to do. I had a kid who wants to work for NASA. I have a kid who wants to build, you know, computers, like literally build them with his hands. Um, right. That's awesome. Yeah. And that is, and those kids, right. let's put them on this track that, okay, we're going to make sure that you're taking these classes so that you can get into mm -hmm. this school that there are kids who come to me and they're like, Miss you know, I really, I just, I love fixing cars. And I'm like, okay, right. well, why are you not taking automotive right now? Why are, exactly. why, why are you taking AP, you know, English, whatever, when that has nothing to do with what you want to do in life, you know? Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's also a fine line job because you have these parents who are also pushing their kids in a direction they may not want to go in. And so as a teacher, 
you don't want to step on the parents' toes. Yeah, that's got to be a little tricky. You know, it's one thing if you're doing elementary you know, kids, and it's like, yeah, you could be a fireman, you could do this, but you know, if you're doing ninth and tenth graders, then things are probably a little different there. So, you know, I get where you're coming from. Yeah, a little bit. So, yeah, again, I just I think it it really has to do with the kiddo and what they want to do or where they see themselves. That being right. said, you also don't want to take opportunities away from them. You know, I when I was a freshman in high school, I wanted to be an Olympic gymnast. Was that going to happen? No. So, you know, but I didn't see myself going to college as a freshman. My parents knew that that's where they wanted me to go and knew right. where, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's where I ended up going. But if my teacher had gone to them and been like, yeah, no, she doesn't need to take these honors classes. Instead, she's gonna be an Olympic gymnast. So, not that Olympic right. gymnasts take honors classes, because I don't want that to be misconstrued. She's well. gonna be on the Louise box, you I can say. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. Oh. Well, Northern Virginia educator, I definitely appreciate your time and all the well thought out answers that you've given me and the audience today. I really do appreciate it. Well, thank you, Jean, for having me. It's been a pleasure. Likewise. Hopefully we can do this again real soon. Sure thing. Okay. Bye, sir. That's all for now, folks. Goodbye.